Well, let's get the show started. The uh, engine at hand to bring you up to date. It's a one and a half horsepower international. 1918. You know, it's over 100 years old. Anyways, reassembling this engine was like a kit, you know. So, putting the engine back together and all, the parts was already cleaned up. Up to the point where, you, you know, you don't have to run a water brush through that hole there and clean that up real good before you use it. So, uh, and it's up to this point right here that I've got it assembled. All of these are tight. If, if you're interested in that, go back in the playlist. I did that on three or four engines. So, but there's a few, this is understrike engine. Oh, I'm using that Harley-Davidson grease right there. Uh, works real good on these engines right here, Harley-Davidson. Let's get that right in the middle of the frame. I think if you mention a product on your YouTube channel, you know, somebody send you a couple of bucks or something. I'm not sure, but it's pretty good. Just mention that. Also... Well, wherever gas is concerned, you use this gas oil right here. This is the new stuff, kind of, uh, with that ethanol stuff. That gas oil. Uh, I don't know where they might send me a can of that stuff right there if I mention it. I don't know how that works or nothing, but I'm just saying it's good product either way. But let's clean up a couple more parts. We have to assemble this governor here. Oh, yeah. That's one of them Dr. Peppers. Uh, that's got that cream soda in it. Uh, and, uh, but I opened it up yesterday and let that gas out of it. Still had a little in there. I didn't leave it open enough. I'm going to wait a while more. When the gas gets out, I'm going to leave it open. And when the gas gets out of it, it's more better. I'm just saying. Uh, but carrying on with this project right here with no with no with no delay. Yeah, to the point where I'm gonna need some I'm gonna put some lacquer thinner down in that hole. Uh. Yeah, I thought I had some left over from yesterday there, but it's done dried up. I'm just saying, you know. just the water brush right there with some lacquer thinner on it but what I'm doing don't let that thing fall on the floor what what I'm doing see I polished up the inside them I polished up the inside them holes right there what I was doing right there any paint or rust or anything you, you put that water brush down in there the last time with some lacquer thinner on it clean them up Uh, and 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 the, and the reason for doing that, this, is you know you can crank on your engine if you want to, but if you want your engine to start the, when you turn that flywheel over, uh, you 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 have to do this. 
See, there's a little offset on that casting right there, even when they drill that hole. And, and um, well, it's not too bad. If it was any more, I'd take a file to it. I may do it anyway, because it ain't right. And, and you have to shim this thing up. Okay, I think we'd be good to go on that. Well, let's get them things and let's get them uh, whatever them would be called and uh, and get us test fit. Okay, y'all see that? I'll show it to you. See, when when, when some when someone in the past, oh yeah, you, you see this quite often. And also, it, it's actually a, um, if there's a limit on the springs. Let me get one of them. Here they are. Uh, the way this thing works here, let's put it together and I'll show you. But, there's no reason to ever move that set screw from the center of this flat part. And that one was offset oh, uh, at least a quarter of a turn. Oh, it's on the back side. I'll run these on the war wheel over first. But wherever a burr is, you know, it has to go. You, you, you can't you can't let a burr go by. I'm just saying. And they should be, if you file one of these here, you should file the other one to make it identical to it. It is near possible. But, oh yeah, that's going to be good. Well, them's hard right there. You can't you, you can't file on these up here. They work hard, and I think. But we'll assemble all this up, and then uh, see how it works. Uh, we'll clean up them threads and all, also. Oh, yeah, it's a rainy day here. Start about noon, I think. Just drizzle, uh, not downpour or nothing like that. Uh, garage door's open.
uh, to assemble this thing, I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put just a uh, as a rust as a rust preventative. A little drop of oil on there. I usually don't do that. Oh yeah, that's a good fit right there. Uh, cleaned up, uh, rounded over the edge right there so it can seat correctly. Uh, it had a burr on it there. Took that off. And then this one. A good metal to metal seat right there. And then you you you, you preset that in there to to a little less than what's necessary right there. But to put this thing together, okay, right in there, I can look down in there and see that. Okay, that, that that should be back exactly factory setting, and when you come around like that, and that's your that's your lock nut right there. Uh, I'm gonna take it back apart and put shims in it to take up for this side play in this area, whatever that amount is to match up to the flywheel casting. Well. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been camped out here about three days now. get in there 17 minutes past 7 time here 7 17 and we'll be back out here tomorrow waiting for that donkey to heat home backyard and here in middle tennessee the geographical center something shop dog sound